Millions of people all over the world watched as English soccer's Premier League restarted in June, with players taking a knee at kickoff, with Black Lives Matter messages adorning their shirts. Some, however, have argued that the gesture is losing its meaning and is becoming nothing more than a glorified PR stunt. That actual changes in support of diversity and equality in sport are not happening. This is Sports File. England and West Indies cricketers took a knee at the start of each of their tests in July. England, who were hosting that series, then decided to drop the gesture from their fixtures against Pakistan and then Australia. That brought a strong rebuke from former West Indies great Michael Holding, who said that it was important for all people, no matter what their ethnicity, to keep the awareness of racial injustice going. The England and Wales cricket board said in reply they were committed to actively eliminating discrimination from all areas of cricket. But even in America, where the worldwide protest began, the issue of sports involvement in the debate is still highly contentious. The NFL's new season began last month on an embarrassing note as some fans jeered during a moment of silence dedicated to the ongoing fight for equality in the country before the Kansas City Chiefs game against the Houston Texans. In July, the NFL said it would play Lift Every Voice and Sing, often called the Black National Anthem, and the Star Spangled Banner before games. The Miami Dolphins said last month they would stay in their locker room during the playing of the songs, calling the NFL's move an empty gesture. English soccer has largely continued with its stance of players kneeling at kickoff, although some, such as second-tier teams Queen's Park Rangers and Coventry City, decided not to when they played recently. Both sides came in for criticism, but QPR's director of football Les Ferdinand said the impact of taking a knee had now been diluted. America's NBA even went as far as boycotting playoff matches in August after players refused to play following the police shooting of Jacob Blake, a black man in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Major League Soccer cancelled five out of six games scheduled for August the 26th, also after a mass player walkout. Japanese tennis player Naomi Osaka decided not to play in the semi-final of the Cincinnati Masters, also in protest at the shooting of Blake. Osaka went on to play in last month's US Open in New York, and wore a different face mask at each of her matches, carrying the name of a black American. Her aim was to highlight racial injustice in the United States to a wider audience, in her own words, to get people talking. Whether gestures have their place or not, it's clear that people are talking, the more that racial injustice is highlighted by the world's sporting elite.